get you some of that. What a week, huh? Wow. So this is my uh, Mad Max scenario video. Uh, we're gonna start doing one of these every week, maybe two a week. I don't know. But this weekend we, I had a little bit of fun. I went out and uh, I was getting the motor home ready. Uh, I we came up with a plan. We actually talked a little bit about, hey, what would we do in a Mad Max scenario? And uh, full blown. I believe that I'm in a very, very good location right here where I'm at. I'm going to suck it up, buttercup, right here at the house. That's exactly what we're going to do. And the reason is, is why, is because I have a nice perimeter road that comes around and blocks traffic. There's only one entrance into the community. We have water 100 yards uh, down the road from us. You know, and I'm thinking, look at all these resources. I live on a golf course. If we had to, we could plant right on the golf course. I mean... I couldn't be in a better spot if I wanted to be. So what I did do this weekend is I went and got the motor home here. You can see here, I brought it over to the house and I just filled all my fresh water tanks, you know? In a total Mad Max scenario, would we have uh, utilities? Would we have water? I don't know, I, you know? I do, do I think we're going there in all of this? No, I really don't. But it's fun and it keeps my mind occupied now that I'm unemployed. And I was going to, uh, just my normal routine anyway, I would have started to get the motorhome uh, on uh, winterized right now. So I went ahead and did that. I put the water in the tanks. I, uh, I, I probably put a little bit more water in than I normally would because I filled all my trailer tanks. And, you know, that's, that's just getting ready. It's being prepared. I mean, if something bad happened and we needed drinking water for, you know, a while... There's a hundred gallons sitting, is sitting there that I know that I can get to. Also, it has a generator. So I've made sure my generator, my oil ch is changed in the generator. If I have to use that for an extended amount of time, I can run mine and my neighbor's uh, refrigerators off that. Maybe one small air conditioner. Anyway, we can all plug into that generator and we have a resource. Uh, so I didn't fill the gas tank on it or anything like that. I didn't go crazy. It's almost got a full tank in it anyway because we're not really in a gas war and I believe I could go get gas here, you know, things got super bad, I'll, I'll still be able to go get gas anytime I want to, right now. So I didn't mess with that. I also checked my propane system, I'll go ahead this week sometime. I always have, I don't know why, but I always have a bunch of propane bottles, uh, big ones, uh, all full all the time. I don't know if in the back of my mind, you know, I'm just prepared for the Mad Max scenario, but you know, whatever. I, I have them. I have two big ones uh, in the garage here. I'm going to go fill my other two up. That will be on my chore list this week. I'll have lots of chores to do this week, and uh, I'll get through them. I mean, I'll just start making a list and start plugging through them. But another thing that I did this week is I bought some uh, seeds at the store. Every time I went to Walmart or anything, I just bought seeds. Could these be important? Yeah, maybe someday, but you know what else? I'm going to learn how to garden and all this, and I'm going to be good at it. That, that's something I'm going to learn. Also, I uh, picked up a little ammo for the guns. I mean, this is, this is just stuff slowly getting ready. I don't think we're going into any type of Mad Max scenario, but, you know, hey, a little, a little extra here and a little extra there, and being prepared, that's all it's all about. Anyway, Paul Bates, I love you guys. Be safe out there. I'm going to do a COVID-19, uh, we'll do a daily blog every day just uh, talking about uh, our routines and what we did today. This week I've got a lot of chores to do. I probably won't be doing a whole lot more towards my Mad Max stuff until towards the end of the week. i got to get through some of this other stuff. All the Daisy here, uh, Mad Max series. Also, you guys, I, I, I've got another channel that I've started up. Uh, so I talk about some of the stuff that's going on with the financial systems and, uh, you know, it's my Broken 50 series. And I'm really getting into it, no holes bar, uh, don't watch it in front of your children. Sometimes, every once in a while, uh, the language gets a little bit off on it. But, and again, it's not, that, that channel is not for everybody, but for some, some of you guys that wanted to hear what's going on in the world and, and know what's going on, uh, that's all I talk about. Anyway, Paul. Peace out. I love you guys. I'm going to start fattening this up right here. See what happens. Uh, get her uh, uh, summer fat on her. What do you think, Daisy, huh? What do you think? What are you telling everybody, huh? Anyway, peace out. We love you guys. Be good out there. Uh, love your families. Love each other. And uh, stay good. That's all I can say, man. Be, be good. And uh, be prepared. Start getting ready. Start thinking. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.